<clears throat> okay, so another student request on calculating equilibrium composition from, from an equilibrium constant. All right, that's what we're doing here. Calculating equilibrium composition. All right. So <clears throat> we get this reaction. H2 plus Cl2 is in equilibrium with 2HCl. And we're given some information about this. And we're given an equilibrium constant. So I'm going to come over here and make some notes. H2 plus Cl2 is in equilibrium with 2HCl. All right. Now, uh, I'm in the habit of generalizing things A, B, and C. Um, this is going to be a little bit challenging uh, if you're not used to generalizing because we're going to use C for concentration. <clears throat> and when we set up an ice table, we also use C for change, right? So I guess buyer beware is what I would say. All right, let's go ahead and look at what the questions we're given or information we're given. Volumetric flask or a, a a volume of, of 250 mils I'm gonna do this in liters 0 0.25 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 right because they're all in the same same uh, flask uh, one mole of CL2 one mole of CL2 and 0.9 moles of HCl. <clears throat> 0 0.9 moles of HCl. So the concentration, now recall, the concentration is equal to moles per liter, which is equal to moles per liter, right? So this is going to be 1 over 0.25. This, initi this initial concentration is going to be zero. We can do that one in our head. But one divided by 0.25, my calculator out. Oh, I can see that it's going to be four, right? One, one divided by 0.25 is four. It's 0.25, not 2.5. Four, okay. I know I'm not, I'm not worrying about sig figs right now. And 0.9 divided by 0.25 is equal to 3.6. Okay, so that's my initial concentration of these guys, right? <clears throat> and I'm given K. K of this reaction is equal to, let me go back over to my, my uh, browser, is K is 697 and we're supposed to calculate the equilibrium molarity of this guy right here. All right, so let's go back over here. Oops, uh-oh. 6.97, right? And we know that K is also equal to HCl squared right? Cuz that's the definition of K. All right, so now, now that we know that, let's go back to to black and say that the uh, change, right? We're doing our ice table here. The change is going to be, well, since there's zero here, there's gonna definitely be some equilibrium in this, at equilibrium, there's gonna be some, right? And so if there's, this is <clears throat> zero plus X, what's this gonna be? Also plus X, and this is gonna be minus 2x, right? This, by the way, was a, a topic that you did just recently, I think on the last objective, called setting up a reaction table. So my equilibrium concentration of this is going to be x. This is going to be 4 plus, how do you spell plus? Plus x, and this is going to be 3.6 minus 2x, right? All right, so uh, I'm going to come over here now to my can. Let me bring it over here. This is at equilibrium. Cl2, right, is going to be 3.6 minus 2x squared, right? And this is going to be x. And this is going to be Cl. What is Cl? 4 plus x? And then again, 4 plus x, okay? 
So let's simplify this out then. This becomes 3.6 minus 2x times 3.6 minus 2x over 4x plus x squared. Okay, now let's come over here <coughs> and do this. This is 3.6 squared minus 7.2x minus 7.2x plus 4x squared, right? Over 4x plus x squared. This is all equal to k. Right? K. So this then is going to be K times 4x plus x squared is equal to 3.6 squared minus 7.2x minus 7.2x plus 4x squared. Okay, still working on this. Now I think what I'm going to do is uh, start a new layer. And I am going to write this again. Should have written that last one in, in that layer. All right, so this is going to be k4x plus kx squared is equal to 3.6 squared equals 12.96. Can you see I'm doing a quadratic minus? 14.4 x plus 4 x squared. Okay, now let me get rid of this layer. I'm going to get rid of the one and I'll still have that red down there. All right, so I'm going to bring this up to the top and I'm going to say 4 x squared, took care of that term, minus k x squared, took care of that term, minus 14.4 x took care of that term, minus 4kx, took care of that term, plus 12.96 is equal to zero. So I'm purposefully setting this up <coughs> as a, a quadratic, right? Because I see I've got the x term, I've got to solve for x. So let me factor these guys out, 4 minus k, x squared minus 14.4 plus 4 k x plus 12.96 equals 0. And I'm doing this because I want to write this out in the form of uh, a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to zero, <clears throat> so I can use the quadratic formula. Well, now I can see what my a is, right? a is equal to four minus k, right? That's my a term here. Here's my b term. b is equal to four, oops. This is gonna be negative b, look at that. So let me make that a plus and that a negative and that a negative, can I do that? That's gonna equal to minus 14.4 minus 4k, right, and c is equal to 12.96. All right, now I'm going to use my quadratic equation. So x is going to be either a plus or minus. It's going to be equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, I'm a little impatient, uh, so what I did was I set up a spreadsheet in advance of this video that would just calculate x for me. I come over here, where is my spreadsheet, right here, oh, and here's my HCL, just to orient you what I've got here, here's my, here's my equation, H2 plus Cl2 is in equilibrium with 2HCL, H2 plus oh, x from a different problem, Cl2 is going to give me 2HCl, right? And as I warned you, wait, here's my 2HCl. 
Okay, as I warned you, I'm, I'm in the habit of writing A, B, and C to generalize things, make things easy for myself, okay? <clears throat> so A, yeah, okay. So A then, I've got that written on a previous, previous page. Here's my A right here, A, B, and C was four minus K, right? Is that what it was? Let me go back over here to my, my sheet. It was four minus K. I'm over to my spreadsheet now. This is gonna equal four minus, and here's my K, boom. Okay, and B was, what was B? Minus 14.4 minus four times K equals minus 14.4 minus four times K, boom. And C was, where was I? C was 12.96, okay. Equals 12.96. Okay, all right. So I just immediately get my, you know, you, you, you saw over here, X is equal to minus B plus or minus all that, right? So my plus solution, which represents this guy right here, my plus solution is here. There's my plus solution, right? And my minus solution is that. And it turns out oftentimes one of them is not going to make any sense. And so we choose the one that does make sense. Look at here. If my initial concentration of HCl was 3.6 and I'm losing it, you can't go to 32.7, right? Right. Initial change in, in final, initial change in equilibrium. Ice here's my ice table. 3.6 minus 2x cannot give you 32. So this, this solution makes no sense. I'm gonna do this here. Boom. Boom. That solution makes no sense. Okay, so, but this one does make sense. If I start out with 3.6 minus 2x, I can get to 2.99. All right, that's great. So here's my equilibrium concentrations for these, for all three of these. Those are my equilibrium concentrations. Let me go back and read the question again. Really, all I did with the spreadsheet just now, you can do this manually. You have to do it manually, actually, right? You need to do this manually. But um, I've done it manually so many times, I, when I'm doing homework, oftentimes I'll just set a spreadsheet up to, to save myself the trouble. Um, so having said that, we find that X is equal to either, let me go back over here, equal either minus 14.5 minus... 14.5 or 0 .300. 300, that's what X is, right? And so going back to my, my uh, browser now, the question was, what's the equilibrium molarity of H2? Well, the equilibrium molarity of H2, let me go back here. Remember, I'm gonna go back, let me get rid of this layer, or bring in the first layer again. Remember H2? The equilibrium molarity was simply x, right? Let's make sure we have that right. H2 in the beginning, going to go back and go slowly here. H2 in the beginning was nothing because we had some Cl2 and we had some HCl, right? But no H2. So they're asking about the thing that, that had nothing in the beginning, right? H2. And so in fact, it's x. And then they want two decimal places, right? And we found that one of these doesn't make any sense. You can't have negative 14 molar. That's the other, right? That's the plus solution. You can't have negative 14 molar H2. So it must be plus 0.3. All right, so we're gonna come back over here. I'm gonna say, all right, well, that's the case. This is 0 0.30, because it wants two decimal places, right? And we're gonna check and get some green here. Oh, man, okay, gotta go back to it. Way too long. Log back in. This will take me just a second, folks. Stick with me. Student view. Boom. I don't think it's not even going to take me right back to where it was. I have to go back and find it. Work ahead. Filters, I was a review filter. F 
14, it was 8.3, I think we're working on here, 8.3, and it was uh, this one. Yep, there it is right there. Okay, so we're gonna say, make sure it was the same numbers. Yeah, one and 0.9, 6 point, oh, those are all the same numbers, 0 0.30. And we'll find that we have it right. Give me some green, all righty. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Just as, as a quick review, what we did was, we set up an ice table, first of all. Well, first of all, I didn't find an initial concentration, right? There was our initial concentration. We didn't have initial concentration. We didn't get it from volume and, and moles. So we got our initial concentration, and then we set up an ice table, and then we identified, hey, this is what I'm looking for here. Um, we go here. This is the answer of what I'm looking for. It's X, because I asked, what's the equilibrium concentration of H2? All right, and then once I did that, I had a lot of work to do because we were using the quadratic formula. So, all right, hope that's helpful, and um, do let me know if you've got other questions about it.